Hi, I'm Justin Ambriska with Erie Tech out of Indiana, Pennsylvania. And today we're going to talk about motors and in relation to using ball bearings and roller bearings. So as everybody knows, an electric motor bends at the lowest speed will sell 900 RPMs, which is still very high speed, 900 revolutions per minute. So naturally you need a bearing on each end to guide the shaft on it. Most common in an electric motor would be a ball bearing because the ball bearing in the industry is the one rated for the highest RPM revolutions per minute. You'll see ball bearings in a lot of smaller motors, motor that's in your furnace at home. Those are all ball bearings, all right? Anything I'd say up to 50 horsepower, nine times out of 10 is gonna have a ball bearing in it. However, you can get into a situation with a lot of medium and high horsepower situations where the overhung load, whether it be a pulley, whether it be hooked directly into a reducer, where the overhung load is gonna to be too much for a ball bearing to handle. So that is why they will use a roller bearing because a roller bearing is rated for more overhung load than a ball bearing is. And it's important to always ask when you're specking out a motor, if say you get somebody calls them with a hundred horsepower, you must ask them, what are you running this on? I mean, is this going to be a five groove pulley with five C belts on it? That's where you want to consider, all right, I need to go to a manufacturer that's going to have a roller bearing in it. Typically you won't see a roller bearing in a motor, typically anything more than 1800 RPMs. In that type of situation, you're not going to see anything spinning real, 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 real fast. It's gonna have a very large shiv on it. It's gonna be directly bolted into a reducer. So there's a lot of overhung load on it. A lot of times a roller bearing, when it is in a motor, is a non-locating bearing. So a lot of times the roller bearing is gonna be side by side with the ball bearing because the ball bearing is gonna be the locating bearing in it as well. The roller bearing is gonna take the overhung load while the ball bearings are gonna help with the RPM process. Just keep in mind application and where you're using, how many horsepower you, your motor is, um, what are you putting on the end of the shaft of the motor, and if you have any questions, feel free to call. Um, we're always here to help out.